It was yesterday, though, so I could be wrong. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my uh, audio here. My desktop audio is looking a little quiet. Can, can you all hear the, the music of the game pretty well? I can hear it really well, but I think maybe I need to turn it up for, for, for the viewer's sake. Can you hear the, the nice music and the sounds of me stepping and stuff like that? I've had a little trouble figuring out the audio on Stone Shard. The other games I think I have down. Yes, you can hear it, or yes, I need to turn it up. I realized I asked maybe a vague question, um, or I don't remember specifically what I asked. Uh, yes, okay, okay, so I'll leave it. If it's here, this is fine. Um, as always, just give me a, head up, a heads up if you feel I need to change the audio or anything else. Um, I want to look at this quest. How long do I have? This, uh, three days. I, I shouldn't. I should be able to go home before then. And I'll sell the books to this guy and then go home. I think he, he buys them for a little more than the first city does. Uh, and then the, the third city purchases them for even more than that. So, Okay. So I'm going to go to the first city. Uh, got anything interesting? Nope. Uh, give me a ride to Osbrook. And I said I was going to give my little announcement about an hour in. We're only about 40 minutes into the stone shard, but I'll go ahead and do the announcement. I just wanted to give people time to notice I was playing the game if they wanted to pop in. Um, so when the uh, the update comes out, the 16th through the 18th, I can't remember the exact date. Oh, it's nighttime, so I can't shop. I need to go to bed. But yeah, when the, uh, when the update comes out, the day of and the following day, so for two days, there will be only Stone Shard on stream. I will, I'm not going to play RimWorld, I'm not going to play Valheim, we're going to have two days, just Stone Shard all day. Um, so I hope I hope everyone enjoys that. Um, that's, that's, again, tiny announcement, not a huge announcement. I'm out, I didn't pay them, it's been two weeks. Uh, but yeah, so, and I think maybe the uh, Stone Shard update will come out while I uh, while I'm doing the extended streams while my roommate's on vacation, so it might be eight hour streams of Stone Shard. Uh, I don't want to promise that. Never play on a patch day. Why? Why not play on the patch day? Just in case it's too buggy or for like viewership or because I'm, I'm I'm down to play on a patch day. Mm, I'll sleep I'll sleep in more to hopefully keep the vigor. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd play on patch day. I don't know if their patches are really buggy on release, though. But I, I'm i down to play on patch day. Yeah, okay, okay. Um. Well, yeah, I'm, I'll send it. If there's bugs, I don't mind them, essentially. Um, like, it, it's just kind of how it is. But I, I, I also don't know, um, I've never played this game all directly after a patch. I don't know how buggy they tend to release it. And I'm just selling the disenchantment scrolls because I don't want them. Oh, and I'll use Stardust. I, I should have Stardusted for the boss fight. That should help a little. I am sad I used my accuracy potion. Um... And then didn't really continue fighting him. I kind of chugged it and ran away. I was very accurate with my running away, but that's okay. Those accuracy potions, stuff like that, it's not too, not too. Um, they're 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 not very rare, is what I'm trying to say. They're very they're pretty easy to come across. So, is Bran here or in the other city? He might be here. I don't know. I don't know if uh, that lantern's there. If he's not here, I think the lantern is uh, like attached to where he goes. But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, he's here. I could still be wrong about the lantern. What are you selling? Ooh. Will the, will it will these fight the vampires? They're not like immune to poison or anything, are they? Because this is not the trap you were referring to. I'm pretty sure you were telling me to buy a bear trap, but uh, a death stinger jar seems like a pretty good tool. But I don't know if the uh, the vampire creatures can be poisoned. I'll just buy it. What's the worst that could happen? Because he didn't have the traps for sale. Um, or is it the smith that sells the traps? Both should work. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, I thought I thought he would have a trap, but the smith had it. So, so I will place a trap. 
Because the boss isn't on the tile of the door. Like, he's not, like, you know, blocking my entrance. I knocked him back and stuff. Uh, what's the Death Stinger jar do? Um, so it on the jar, it doesn't say it does anything. But when you throw it, it just Death Stingers explode out of it. So it's just like when you come across a Death Stinger hive. It's you just The, the creature is just simply there. Um, I think it can come and attack you. Like, if I threw it down and I was the only enemy, they might kill me. Uh, I'm sorry that you can't see stream. Um, yeah, I, I, I do. I, I really apologize about that. I, if there's anything I can do to fix that, let me know. Um, but yeah, it's a jar that you throw and there's bees in it. It's just a jar of bees. And, and uh, it'll go kill the, the boss for me. Because the bees are kind of insane. What makes the bees so dangerous in particular is they're really hard to hit. They, they dodge a, gr a very large number of attacks on top of their, their big DPS, so. Okay, okay, so you're listen only anyways. Yeah, not the bees, anything but the bees. Um, okay, well, well, I hope I'm providing some entertaining audio. And I, I hope you can hear when I throw the bees, it should be a satisfying glass shatter sound, followed up by maybe a uh, the sound of some buzzing. So I'm hoping this works. New net. The nets are really useful, as we've learned. Um, the bees are fine. They they used to. They have like a two-day limit that they can sit in the jar. They used to last forever, and they were OP. People would just stack up an inventory full of bees, and like any problem they had, they would just chuck bees at. Um, but now uh, now they last for two days, so it's hard to do that. And you can only buy them from Bran, I think. I think that's the only place. The, the Traveling Huntsman, I think, is the only shop in the game that has the bees. I could be wrong. Um, but for the most part, you can't just, like, you know, go all around and pick up a bunch of them. So they're rare but powerful. And it's it was over 100 gold. It was, like, 115 gold, and I'm you, you get one use. You throw the bees, and that's it. So, um... And I'm gonna do this just like I did the uh, the boss fight when I was fighting the, uh, the 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 human boss. I'm gonna prep. I'm gonna use my seal of geomancy and stuff outside of the arena, like up here, such that I don't have to spend my time in down there casting these spells. Um, so I might actually that might have been bad actually. Um, whoa, and it's like a visual bug. I I don't appear to have stone armor on me anymore. I think I just saw the boss. Did I see it? I saw something there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so trap. I will use... Well, I don't know where to put it. Maybe I'll walk one forward and use it here. And then... Walk up here. Throw the bees. I'm gonna throw the bees behind him. Okay, okay, he's fighting the bees. Let's go, let's go. Um... Again, sorry, kind of radio silent. I'm just really worried about this boss. Uh, and I, I realize now my trap is under this this rock. That's not great. Um, but it's okay. It'll, it'll pop out. When the rocks vanish, it'll be there. He didn't step on the trap. No. Maybe I can knock him back into it. Let's go. It worked. So I'm going to walk forward, armor, swap, and then throw the net. Oh, he, 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 he broke the net into pieces. He, like, shattered it himself. Um, hopefully daze him with my geomancy. It didn't quite work, but he hit the rock. And he crit, so I'm glad he crit the rock instead of me. Um, put the rock down again. He's dazed. Let's go. Uh, and he's, he's low. But, uh, thank you. Thank you for, again, Snork. You were the savior of this playthrough. I will never forget it. I was able to take care of this boss, like, directly with your assistance. Um, so that was great. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so, so much. I was, again, just like the last boss. I was like, nope, I'm leaving. There's no shot. Um, so what I'm learning is I should put more respect on the uh, consumable defense tools or consumable, like, like fighting tools, like the net and the trap and the bees and stuff like that. They were very helpful. I'm just so greedy. Like, literally, I'm just like, I'm not going to spend money on that. I only get to use it once. Yeah, yeah, that was really the being able to knock the 
the boss into the trap worked out really well. Um, I tried to have him walk over it, and he was just like, I'm too smart for that. Uh, so having the, uh, the, the geomancer, of the pillar, knock him into it worked out really well. And this guy is no problem. He's a support, as I mentioned. He's not really like a... Like, when it's just me and him, I'm not scared of him. Just the fact that he was backing up the boss made the boss much more threatening. Oh, and I had my uh, big hammer out to cast all those spells, so I was just spending extra energy for no reason. These guys must always drop those altar bells. That must be new. Like, maybe my memory's bad. I don't want to say that, like, actually must be new, but I, I feel like I've never seen these before. And my, my backpack's full of stuff I meant to sell. That's a mistake. I should have sold them. Um, I'm going to switch this for my current staff. Uh, and I want to... Because it's just a better staff. Like, it, they're both... They don't do anything special. Um, but... Or well, what's the block chance? Yeah, the block, the block chance is better. That's kind of all I care about. So, I have a slightly higher chance to block with my pilgrim staff. Um, but I, I should... I need to go to town and remember to look for a healer staff as well. The, um having a healer staff on for my my mage and i didn't use my my stardust this has just been sitting here we gotta wait and see how long you uh, i i literally will do this like i'll go into a dungeon be like oh i should have sold this stuff and then do the whole dungeon with it full and then go right back into another dungeon i'll do this over and over like i'm sitting here talking about it right now when i go to town i won't remember like i just it's not me baiting or like trying to like you know, get chat activity or something, pretend like I'm bad. It's just me being bad. Like, that's that's genuine badness. I leave stuff in backpacks all the time. And I love the backpack. I always go get it really early in my playthroughs, and then I just forget to ever actually sell the stuff in it. Geomancy? Ah! This is the second time I found Geomancy 1. It hurts my soul. Like, it actually, like, it, I physically, it hurts. Some good boots? A lot of gold? This was a really good chest. I can identify the boots too, actually. Wait, this is identification, right? Okay, okay. Uh, no, I'm gonna identify the potion. Um, no, not move. Use, open. Uh, I'm gonna identify this potion, just in case it's useful. Um, it's actually really useful. That's a great potion. So I'm glad I have it. I, I, I doubt, sorry, I stuttered there. I doubt I will actually need it, um, like on the rest of this dungeon, but in general, an energy drain potion. You know where to find Geo3? Yes, yes. You you informed me of that before. It is the Rotten Willow Tavern. Um, so I, I'll go buy it eventually. Uh, but I actually don't need three until I want to take this point. Um, I'm going to unlock these via Vitality. Um, and they should be soon enough. Like I'll take It'll take to these two points, and then I'll just have two more points. Which I'll put in Athletics to get Dash. So I don't need Geomancy 3 for a while. Um... <clears throat> So I hope to find it, so I never have to purchase it, you know? I hope to get lucky and just find it. Oh, and he died to a trap. That's good for me. And I don't know if these boots are actually better than my current boots. Like, my boots might have, like, slightly more armor, but these could have great stats. And they could be cursed with a great curse as well. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm happy to keep those boots. Mind work, whatever. Yeah, actually, my sanity's low enough that I could use it. I was going to say I don't need it, but I actually do. Electromancy 2? Okay. Again, every every time you find an, a, a, a mage book, you're very happy as, as Yana here. Um, and I need to put something back in my backpack. Uh, the rest of this dungeon had some, some dank loot in it. Like, there's been lots of books and stuff. I'm, I'm super glad that I was able to, to continue progressing. Because um, all, the, all the good stuff was back here. I didn't get any good stuff before, and now I'm, like, filled up to the brim with good stuff. Okay. And then I'm going to walk back off to the um, right side of this dungeon, uh, off to the east here. Uh, there was a library. How do I get there, though? Oh, it's just right through here. Okay. But yeah, I saw a harbinger and a bunch of bookcases. And I love bookcases. They, uh, well, I love them in real, in real life, too. They hold books, and I love books. Yo, let's go. Magic Mastery? Oh, it's just Magic Mastery 1. I keep getting baited. Um, I'll read it, and then I'll come back to pick it up when I'm not in combat. Oh, I should have used my seal of power. That's okay. I will boulder and then armor up afterwards. And then, oh, it looks like there's even more enemies back there. 
I'm just gonna run away so they have a harder time finding me. More time to fight this guy in a, a 1v1 for the dual dagger build. I don't take dagger stance. The dual wielding stance is a better option. Yeah, yeah. If we if we get to the next, if I get to my next character, uh, I'll definitely be taking that dual wield stance. The dual wield stance is really good, if I remember correctly. Well, where is it? Is it, are you talking about Berserk Tradition? Because I'm like, what? I thought there was a proper stance. Am I losing my mind? Snork, I'm losing my mind. What? What is the dual wielding stance? I've hovered every single one. Is Is it Berserk Training or Berserk Tradition? But this isn't a stance. Tier two mid? Oh, concentration, this one? That that it technically doesn't count as a stance? Is this what you're referring to? Um you could take this and the other stance, because this, you know, as it notes, technically doesn't count. Um, but it is good. Yeah. The hands efficiency, as as I've said a couple of times. You when you're dual wielding, your hand efficiency goes way, way down. And this just, just makes up for that, so. Yeah, it's really good. It's a good it's a good skill. Um, I think the Berserk Tradition is also... No, stop hitting the... Don't hit the bookshelf. Okay, okay, okay. I thought they were going to break down. I thought this rat was going to break one of my shelves down. Yeah, there's just no synergy if you're using both. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and isn't there a book in this that I wanted that I... I um... Oh, and get rid of this boulder. I've just been losing energy this whole time. My inventory is so full. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to get rid of. I don't know what to do here. Two bells? They're not worth that much. I'll take the book over the bells. Then this um, hourglass. I don't want anything for the hourglass. And I don't want to leave because I don't want to... Um, <clears throat> I don't I don't think I'll have time. Maybe I will. I just don't want to risk it. Um, I don't want to leave, just sell my stuff, and then come back and fail the quest. So, and after you complete the quest, the, um, the dungeon shuts down, like it breaks or whatever, and you can't come back. I can get rid of this. I'll just eat my ham. I'll eat my, my last bit of ham. And then I'll put this here. This can go here, and this will go here. Oh, and I actually have... There we go. I don't need to get rid of the bandage. Um, identification... Disenchantment scroll. Um, I don't want to disenchant anything. Yeah, I'll leave that there. Lots of books. This is just the most book-rich library in the world. I don't want to get rid of any medicine. I'm like, not... Oh, you know what? Actually, I can just merge this, and then I will use this. I don't need to use it, but uh, there we go. It's just one in one space. And then I can... Where was the book? Okay, I can find a... I can get rid of something, like this one star bandage, or the one use bandage. And then, here we go. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five books, and I think I have a sixth one. Yeah, this dungeon has had six books so far. That's really insane. Um, that's enough for a trip down to Bryn. I should I should go to Bryn and sell them there, I think. Cool, I'm so glad I got this dungeon done. I hate failing the quests. I mean, think about it. The first buff is offensive stance. Negative one round, except that use concentration. Yeah, yeah. So, you, yeah, you're spending all of your time in the stance, just casting other stance spells, and then you're not good. Yeah. Yes, yes. I, yeah, so I, I definitely agree with you that you want to take one or the other um, in that case. Because you're just, you're like, it's kind of like with my armor. Um, it, I, if I stone armor too early, then I'm, then I... I waste all my turns, like, knocking them away with the rocks, and then the stone armor's just on cooldown, and I don't have it up for the actual combat that I want it up for. So I definitely agree with you. Um, the, uh, just the, the dagger stance, or just the dual wield stance, whichever one, uh, you would prefer. But, um, again, also, I'm sure there's some builds somewhere, someone's created a build where taking both of them is good, but that's, that's not me. And I also don't think it's uh, that common to take both and use both. So that was good. That was a, a nice little dungeon. Really smooth. And we have been playing Stone Shard for just about an hour. 
So if you've been enjoying the Stone Shard content, it would mean a lot to me if you could follow my Twitch channel. We're trying to get up to 20 followers, and we're getting closer and closer every day. So it would I would appreciate it. Your name will show up, and I can thank you personally. But we're almost home. I'm going to do one of the full click on this one. I'm, I feel super safe on this tile, so... I guess this actually there's some bison down there. Maybe I shouldn't feel so safe, but... I feel safe enough to do just a big click. Hands-free gaming. I can get a sip of my water, which I'm going to do. Hmm. Hey, Fire Raft, thank you so much for the follow. And if you feel comfortable, come on into the chat, Fire Raft. I'd love to chat with you. If you don't feel comfortable or you don't want to, I'm happy to have my lurkers here too. Oh, and the dagger stance just it's it just sits at five. There's no way to extend it, so yeah, I see what you're saying. Um because is an offensive tactic, is that considered a stance? I don't know that off the top of my head. Are these stances? Looks like no, but it's still you're just you just it, there's too many things. You couldn't you couldn't have them all active. You're just wasting your turns if you're activating them all. Um, sell a little bit here. Maybe this shouldn't have been sold here. Maybe these were better elsewhere. I always get that confused. And I remembered red defensive tactic. tier three mid oh, oh so you're just talking about a, the stance training I see, okay I, I get it now I get it I get it um so wait you wanted me to read defensive tactic killing enemy prolongs the duration switching to another tactic doesn't spend energy yeah I don't were you talking about this I'm not sure what I'm what I'm what you want me to read what I might be missing The tier, oh yeah, okay, yeah, the, the stance training. So, um, <clears throat> so you can you scale your stances or whatever forever. If offensive training is active, use applicable skills. Additionally, grants one stack to their stances. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I thought this this was just when you attacked, but it's when you use skills. So you can scale your stances with your dagger skills, like uh, like you can scale scale some stuff, but not more turns. I see, I see. Yeah, it's just going up the the stacks, not the not the turns. That's my bad, my bad, my bad. You're not extending them; you're making them more uh, more potent. Yeah. But a uh, defensive tactic is really good. I think we talked about this before. They're they're both really good, kind of just depending what you're doing. Um, oh, and I just I remembered and forgot immediately. I needed to take all this stuff out of here and sell it. Hopefully, it's not too late. Oh, you know what? I'm going to bring the amulet to the elder just because it was the last day. I don't again, I don't know when it when it yeah, yeah I know. I see you were uh trying to stop me from selling it, Snork. I remembered. And and just if if uh if you wouldn't mind, try not to swear too much. That's not big that big of a deal. I just I don't want to play favorites and let you swear and not anyone else. I'm just going to pull what I can out of here bit by bit and then uh I'll sell it off. But yeah, I almost forgot the backpack again. I, I remembered at the last moment. I was just about to leave. Um, do I have anything else in here? The book. Um, I'll identify this in my, my place. Yeah, okay. Wait, simple earrings. No, no, no. Let me pick these earrings up. Okay. I don't know if I have a, uh, an extra bag. Oh, I did I, I, I do. It's over here. Let's go. I thought it was up maybe in my storeroom, but it's it was just down here. So I'll throw my book down for now. I'll pick it back up. And then I'm going to go into the uh, the church, see if he has any more identification scrolls. Because I actually, I had like five, but I've used some already, and I, I'm going to continue using them. Yeah. I'll throw this on the ground. Buy. And then use. First? No. Yo, bleed resin fortitude. Um, I think I'd way rather have that. Than the unholy resistance. These again, these boots are slightly better, but um, bleed resistance will make me bleed less often, and then fortitude will make the bleeds last for a less amount of time. And don't I have fortitude somewhere else? I thought I had fortitude on a different piece of gear. Maybe it was some gloves or something. I don't know, but I think I want these boots. Um, I, they changed bleed res. I'm pretty sure, 
pretty recently that the bleed res is individual. So this, the bleed res on my boots will only apply to my legs. It won't provide bleed res if I were to get stabbed in the stomach or something. But uh, I still think that's good. I think that's worthwhile. And the bow. Yo, if I was if I was playing a bow build, I'd be stoked. Um, I thought this bow would be worth more. I shouldn't have actually identified it. But plus five crit chance and plus two caustic damage. This is like an insane bow. Um, yeah. Yeah, if I was a, a bow build, I'd be very happy to have that. I'm not, though. That's okay. But I am going to go down and sell these books in, um... Or, or what, what, what... Does anyone have an opinion? Do you think I would make more money, total, selling the books to this guy? Or more money spending, uh... Oh, yes, yes, that is worth noting. If you have it on, a your your more utility slots, it applies to all body parts. But if you have it on a... a uh, an equipment slot that is attached to a body part, then it will only protect that body part. Um, but yeah, so uh, just overall, what, what does everyone think? Do you think I'd make more money selling these books here or traveling down to Bryn? Because it's going to be like 140 gold. Can you give me a ride? Yeah, oh, yeah it's 140 gold uh, round trip. So I'd lose 140 gold for traveling, but the, the shop in Bryn buys the books for way more. And I've got like let me see, 250, 450, uh, 5, 800, 950, 1450. I have 1450 in books. Oh no, one more. Uh, 2000. I have 2000 gold, 2050 in books. Do you think that's worth, I can make an extra 150 off those if I go down? Because that's roughly what I would need to make more. What do you mean by more? Like I'll make more down there. Yes, yes. I'll go. Okay, I think I'm getting yes. That that appears like I'm gonna go down. So I'll go down there. Um, and if I if I'm not making like if I if this ends up not being a like whatever if this is technically a bad decision then I'm okay with it. Yeah, yeah. I should make more than 150 off this. I think it's worth it. I just wanted to double check. You know, there's always a chance that um the Middletown Manshire pays like 99% as much. The only fact I knew was that the this library paid more. You do the math, Fuzzy. Yeah, I, I, I just don't know what this purchases them for, like what percentage. Um, this seems like a pretty decent chunk more. And is he selling anything I want? I might buy the Magic Mastery Treaty too. Let me look at Magic Mastery. Am I gonna unlock these? No. Um, and do I want them? Hmm, seal of cleansing. No, I don't know. I'm not too worried about unlocking these magic mastery, like magic mastery two. Uh, you know, I'll want it later, but I think for now I don't necessarily want to buy that book. So I'll just sell him my stuff, and he has enough money to buy it all. Yeah, I, I think this. I think I probably made an extra little bit of money by coming down here. And then I will uh, go back to the second city, get a new quest, and repair my stuff there. Uh, I'll, I'll go to the mage shop and look for mage armor. I'll go. I'll check all the shops, essentially. Yeah, yeah, I can look for a new weapon, maybe. Um, yeah, so I'll check this elven guy. I can't imagine I'll ha there'll be much better of a weapon um, than this within my price range, but maybe there is. Nothing here. The boots are fine, but I have these boots that I just got. Um... Yeah, the, the, the Norse boots, or, or the elven boots are what they're called, excuse me. These are good boots, but I just got these. I just, I just, I don't, I don't want to part with them so soon. Mm, yeah, I'm not going to spend all my money on the boots. They're good. I, I'm going to try to, yeah, I'm going to go down to the dock. That's where they sell Norse boots, right? Yeah, maybe the mage amulet. But that's only the, the dock seller just has the, the Everflame, right? That's just for pyromancy, I think. Um, this guy can have good books, though, so I'm looking through here. And I might buy something like this, like a male coif. Just upgrade my gear a little bit. I might even just buy that right now. I think it's cheaper if I were to go back to the second city, but I don't know if that... It, because I think that I had one in the second city, but I don't know if it's still going to be there. Mm, and it's, Snork or anyone else, do you know if there's a way to check the time? Like, when I'm not... Yeah, I'll, that's what I was going to say. If it's not uh, almost bedtime, like if it's not almost everyone going to sleep, then I'll, I'll just I'll just wait. 
But I don't know how to check if it's the time. I can, I know you can visually look and it looks like it's midday. Um, so I think I'll be fine, but, uh, I would, if there is a way to, to check the time, I would like to know. But I think you can only do it in bed. No, no clocks in this world. And at some point while I'm running around Bryn, the guards will probably stop me and accuse me of being a thief. Uh, so I don't want to steal anything while I'm in this city. You can steal stuff in the other cities if you're hidden, and you can, like, eat it or whatever. But there's always a chance if you steal stuff here, you get caught before, you, before you're able to get rid of it. And they get mad. So I'll check this guy. I don't expect this guy to have anything in particular. Um, yeah. Yeah, his shop is, he's just a normal shop. And this gold medallion. That's a lot of magic power. 6% and 10 energy. That might be enough to, to get me off my 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 uh, uh, experience addiction over there. I don't know. I'll check the maid shop first, and then I'll go down to the uh, the dock trader. I don't know who's going to be there, though. It's always a random person. Just the belt. I'll buy a new vivifying essence, though. One vivifying essence. Go through these, see if I need them. Stone skin, satiety, energy. Mm, I don't want to buy them. I don't want to buy them. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell this, and I'm buying the amulet. Oh, I'll check and make sure there's not an amulet down here. Um, I don't think that there's any special amulets down here. Ooh, this Norse guy. He he sells good stuff. What? Wait, what? What's the wait for? These boots are really good if you're playing like a like a, a jewelry trader. Oh yeah, duh. I like forgot the jewelry trader existed. Oh, does this? Uh. For three grand, that's not great. Negative 5% cooldown duration and 5% miracle chance is fine, but I'm not spending like every last dollar I have on that. Um, but I guess there's a there's a staff there that's technically good. And I, sh I need to check in the second city. I need to look for a healer staff. I, I really want to remember that. I'm still sell these boots, sell this bow. Um, I'll identify this dagger and sell it. Not to him, though. This dagger... No, it's, it's worth so little, I don't care. That was inefficient, but it's just me not caring. Um, and the jewelry trader is, like, right here. Like, over here, if I remember correctly. Looks like I was wrong. Maybe they're on the next tile, actually, right? They're over next to the bank. Um, and there is a bank, for anyone wondering. You can turn your uh, all your gold into notes, if you would like. You can turn them into, like... Uh, uh, like a banknote, so you don't have to carry all the gold around with you. And wh wh am I wrong? Where's this jewelry trader? I thought it was in here somewhere. Am I just... Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Okay. Okay, it was just a little farther up. I was like... I was... I was so certain. I was like, I've, I've been in the shop many, many times. Um, So he just has the same stuff. Yeah, he just has the same stuff. So let me think. I'll sell this and I'll buy this or maybe this magic res resistance. No, I'll buy this and this. Okay, snork, I did it. I'm no longer wearing all uh, all um, experience gear. And I wait, was that a did I sell an enchanted ring when I had a non enchanted ring right next to it? I think I did. I think I'm dumb. That was my bad. But I put on good gear. I put on proper mage equipment. I I hope you're proud. I'm no longer an experience addict. I'm still getting some extra EXP. But yeah, 6% mage power, and then 3% uh, mage power, 9% mage power altogether, and the energy's great. It's 120, and then if I put them on, I'm up to like 130, yeah. And then this, do I have enough for this? Ooh, not quite. What if I sell this? Will I have enough then? Still not quite. What if I sell something else? this empty coin purse. No. Is there, ooh, did I leave stuff in my bag, though? No. Hmm. 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 I'll just, I'll just buy it in the second town if it's there. Like I said, I think it's cheaper in the second town. Oh, and I need money to go home with anyways. I can't, I can't spin down to nothing. So I'm, I'm glad I didn't do that, because I don't want to walk home. Give 
give me a, a, a blessing, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't mean to start this lore. Um, this lore, I'm just asking the this this gentleman here. He's the high priest of the, the faith of hand. Yes, always want a tip. I always want a tip. You never have to ask. I will always, always accept the tip. Um, I, I love information. Not saying I'll put it to good use, but I'll happily absorb it. The brewery? What's at the brewery? What are you talking about? Do they sell gear? I didn't do the beer run this time. I messed it up and I killed everyone there on accident. Well, I, I killed them intentionally, but I accidentally went along the path to kill them. Um, but yeah, I, so I don't know. Is there... Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I didn't forget about it. I just messed this run up. Where do I get those backpacks? Oh, hey, McCready. Welcome, by the way. First time chatter. Thanks for popping in. I will show you directly where you get the backpack from. I'll go right... I'm going there right now, so I'll show you how you do it. Um, so I go to Manshire. It's the second city. It's in Manshire. And then you go up to the, uh, the church here. It's not daytime, so I can't actually... The priest won't be in here. Oh, well, they, they just walked in, so they might be in here. I don't know what they do. I don't know where they go at night. Um... But so there will be a priest right here, and then you talk to him, and he gives you a quest. You don't buy them from him. You don't purchase them from him. You, he gives you a quest to look for an herbalist, and the herbalist will be randomly placed on your map. So my herbalist's hut was here, and inside the hut, there's a backpack. It's every time, it's always in the hut, or a hermit, not an herbalist, sorry. Um, so the backpack will be in the hut, and then uh, but the hut's randomized, and you just got to run and find it. Or it shows you where it is, but you got to run to it. Um but with the next major update to the game, there will be more backpacks. So, for now, there's just this one, though. Hey, everybody. Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.